Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how ROS communicates with two different Arduinos simultaneously. Okay, let's talk about why do we need to connect two different Arduinos to ROS. So sometimes what happens when we are working on a project and we are in shortage of particular type of uh, pins uh, uh, for example PWM pins or interrupt pins in that case uh, we can go for uh, replacement of the main board or other option left with us is uh, we can have uh, multiple microcontrollers which are connected to ROS in this video uh, the hardware which I am using is NVIDIA Jetson Nano on which Ubuntu 8.04 is installed and further ROS Melodic is installed uh, on Ubuntu base and uh, two different mi microcontrollers which I am using are Arduino uh, family one is Arduino Nano and another is Arduino Uno next here is the description of different parameters which will be used for both different uh, devices Arduino Nano will be playing on the port number USB 0 and Uno will be playing on the port number ACM 0 I am going to create two different publisher nodes on each device let's begin with the demonstration of the code So I am going to open Arduino IDE on my Ubuntu 18.04. Okay, let's change directory uh, to the Arduino installation. So let's uh, begin with the opening of Arduino IDE dot slash Arduino. So it is going to open Arduino IDE setup. I had already plugged in Arduino Nano uh, to uh, NVIDIA Jetson Nano so it is uh, at port U USB 0 so I had selected uh, that port so I am going to examples ROS library and I will be using hello world uh, default code so uh, here uh, on the topic publisher I am going to change the name of the publisher so here uh, I'll be using Arduino underscore nano that is the topic name which my first microprocessor will publish so along with that the message which it will be publishing I'm going to change it to hello nano so for each every one second it will be publishing hello nano so let's upload the code to the device uh, it will take a while or oh, there is some kind of issue permission denied so uh, we do not have uh, rights uh, to burn the to assess the device so ch mode command we are applying uh, to have the permissions on device okay let's try now to upload the code uploading now it's done okay let's uh, check whether this publisher has been created on device or not okay let's begin with ROS core okay let's start with the ROS core uh, it is on melodic ROS melodic let's start with ROS run uh, ROS serial uh, ROS uh, serial and uh, serial node pi so by default it will be connected to to the uh, first available device so device at TTY USB 0 uh, to which our nano is connected it is it has set up the publisher with Arduino underscore nano that 
let's begin with ROS topic list so Arduino underscore nano this is the name of the topic which is publishing using serial node let's go for ROS topic list to check who is its publisher and subscriber Arduino underscore nano I missed O so the publisher of this particular topic is serial underscore nod so that is connected at USB 0 okay let's go for echo of this particular topic echo slash topic name so here we are receiving the data from the connected device this message is getting published every one second that we have defined in the code uh, which we have uploaded to the Arduino let's try rqt underscore graph to have graphical view of the publisher subscriber node area So it will publish, yes, we are having a serial node which is publishing using the topic name underscore nano. Okay, let's close that. Okay, let's open tools, ports and only USB 0 is connected. So I am going to plug in my second Arduino device uh, to my NVIDIA Jetson Nano so uh, just a moment yes I had connected so so it will pop up yes it is popped up uh, under ACM0 uh, so uh, again I'm using the same code but here I'll use the publisher with topic name Arduino underscore Uno to distinguish uh, it from the previous uh, device. So instead of uh, uh, publishing the topic, so here I am going to use hello A for Arduino U and O Uno. So done. So I am going to burn uh, this code uh, on my second device. Okay let's burn that so again so we are facing the same issue that permission denied for that I am going to use ch mode on this particular port okay let's ch mode uh, writes to this device here it is connected at ACM0 so I am going to replace USB with ACM0 done so it will ask me for the password for the user done now let's burn again uploading done uploading yes it has successfully burned that code okay let's ROS run ROS serial underscore python so I'm going to open this serial node so here I'm going to give the arguments uh, I need to define uh, my new device uh, that is connected at TTY ACM0 so let's have enter this so this serial node has been started at device uh, ACM0 and Arduino underscore Uno is the uh, publisher uh, topic name. As we move to our first tab, so what we see that shutdown request. So our first node which was running on serial underscore node Y that has been shut down, uh, reason being that. Uh, another node has been launched which is having the same name 
this issue can be resolved using the launch file so i'm going to create a launch file uh, under ros basics work workspace and under the folder launch i had created arduino dot launch file so this launch file uh, will be creating two different uh, nodes both nodes uh, deals with the raw serial underscore python package and the name and the type of the node is serial underscore node dot pi so for the first i am giving the name arduino underscore uno and uh, which is playing on the port acm0 that is just recently connected in the second node so i am going to change the name uh, as arduino underscore nano so which is connected at usb 0 port so that's all for the launch file so uh, in the launch file basically it will be running to different nodes but with the different names so let's minimize this window and uh, we need to go to ROS launch and name of the workspace that is uh, ROS underscore basics then the name of the launch file let's double tap so it is arduino dot launch yes arduino dot launch let's paste that using the launch file we had started uh, two different nodes uh, uh, which belong to the serial node uh, basically but now using the launch file we had given two different names so let's check using ROS topic list yes now we are having our both uh, topics uh, published uh, using a launch file let's uh, echo uh, both these topics arduino underscore nano let's check that so yes it is publishing the data okay new tab ros topic echo second topic list that is slash Arduino underscore Uno. So here we'll be getting the data from yes, hello A U N O that is Arduino Uno. Okay, let's try ROS run RQT underscore graph so that we can have graphical view of both these uh, published topic using the serial node so Arduino Nano Arduino Uno these are the two different topics names and both having their publisher uh, of the microcontroller base so we had successfully created publisher nodes on two different microcontrollers. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.